Hello YouTube, Tim here, and I'd like to show, these are some of the strings that I've built out of the Astroflight material that I purchased from Three Rivers Archery. I'm sure you can get uh, similar materials from other sources, that's just the one that I've chosen to. So this was my first attempt at replacing one of my Dacron based strings with the Astroflight. I still used the paracord string loops and very minor servings at the end to hold the material together with a fairly normal size serving at the center. Let's go ahead and weigh that. See if we can. It's actually kind of hard to weigh because just the string is a rather awkward thing. Something I can do is I can put the, str the uh, string across, use the serving to suspend it on the pad there. We'll make sure it's actually not touching anything else. Okay, let's make sure it's teared. There, tear. Okay. I show the weight as 154.3 grains. Let me adjust this, that's kind of ridiculous. There we go. 154.4 grains. This is a substantial improvement over the normal, the Dacron string, which I expect was over 200 grains, probably closer to 250. Now here's my latest effort. I'm using a minimal center serving, which is just large enough for a thumb or three fingers and the arrow. I did this by actually stringing it up on the bow, determining where my knock point would be and then serving only those say three and a half inches. So it's, a, it's as minimal as it can get. I also modified the string loops. This string weighs 98.9 to 99 grains. And that's a finished string, that's done. I could make it even a tiny bit lighter by uh, using fewer strands in the center. However, that's not necessary. This is more than strong enough. This is good. I could use slightly shorter uh, string loops, but really the string loops are the biggest uh, difference here. This is made of Dacron, so I just used my B50. Unfortunately, I haven't been able to melt the polyester together very efficiently, but I have these loops here, and the whole uh, kit and caboodle there is 30% lighter than even the reduced weight one. So this is probably half or less the weight of a normal string. Needless to say, it's somewhat less elastic, but the Dacron itself shouldn't prove to be so inelastic that it causes the fast flight to overpower a, a bow. So I'm very interested in giving these things tests. I, I'll make a normal string, this string, I'll weigh them, and then in further tests when I'm actually going and doing some shooting, we'll find out exactly how it's doing. So thank you very much for watching. I hope this is interesting, and I uh, hope you're looking forward to seeing exactly what we're working on next.